Are you using one of those third-party apps on your Fire Stick? Do they ever make your Fire Stick freeze up or crash? It's pretty common when using those Android APKs, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it right now. So you're on your Fire Stick and you wanna watch some movies or TV. You open up one of those third-party apps, like this one, and you're looking for something good to watch. Now, first of all, you got the ads that pop up on you all the time. So if you don't have an ad-free version, one of the modded versions, you're gonna have this coming up on the bottom. So let's say you find something that you wanna watch. We're in the TV section now, but let's go up to where it says movies. So if we scroll over to those three lines, we select movies, and we're looking for something different, something we haven't seen before. So let's say we go over the Monster Hunter, and you click on that, and it's gonna show you the overview. Then you click on play. You decide you don't wanna watch it anymore. You click the back button and that's where your problems start. If you're trying to tell the Fire Stick too much to do at one time, especially with these third party apps, because of its limited memory, it's gonna freeze up on you every once in a while. So if your Fire Stick freezes up, the first thing you wanna do is hit the home button. If hitting the home button solves your problem and you're back on the home screen, then you want to force stop that app. So go over to the gear icon, then you want to scroll over to applications. We're going to go down to manage installed applications, and we're going to choose the third party app that you were using. The first thing you want to do before you force stop though, is clear the cache. We're going to clear the cache, we're going to go up, we're going to force stop the application. And then if you want to watch another program, you're going to relaunch the application. You can do it right from here. Now, just a quick side note, Guys, if you're using one of these third-party apps, do yourself a favor and get yourself a VPN. It's gonna protect your data, and you're also gonna be able to view content that you're already paying for that's geo-blocked from another country. So you can turn on that VPN, you can switch to the country that you wanna be watching a program from, and it's gonna allow you to watch it without being blocked. I've got a couple of great discount links in the description below. It's gonna save you guys some money, and it's gonna help out the Rich Man channel. So I really do appreciate it. Now, if for some reason that simple fix does not work for you guys, what you wanna do is unplug your fire stick. Let it sit for about 10 or 15 seconds, then plug it back in again. When it restarts, do those same steps I showed you. Go back to the home screen, go to settings. The other way you can do it is use the, the shortcut button, which is hold down the home button right on your remote. And this screen's gonna pop up and you can go right over to settings. Click on settings. Go to Manage Installed Applications, find that application, clear the cache, for stop, relaunch. The other problem that may be occurring is maybe you have too many apps installed on your Fire Stick because it does have limited memory. So if you want to check out one of my other videos, which is going to show you how to clear up space on your Fire Stick, I'll put a link right up here. And also, if you get a chance, watch this video right here that YouTube recommends. I really do appreciate it, guys. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.